uh, this was big time crime, 100 million in lost revenue, illegal sales around the world. The mastermind of the scheme, 36 year old Zhang Li of China. He's been arrested and found guilty, but Li sold the pirated software to customers in 28 U.S. states and 60 countries. And now there are concerns about how that might be used. Included in those companies are, uh, or rather countries, are, are Syria and Yemen and other you know, concerning countries. But anxiety over national security doesn't stop there. There's the question of whether malware and spyware is being downloaded along with the software. And then a third issue is whether there's any defect in the software. Um, you know, th these are being used to design aircraft and do other um, things where there's serious, you know, safety issues. One of Lee's biggest buyers, a former NASA engineer who downloaded software onto a government computer. It was determined that uh, NASA experienced no adverse effects from the software, and we will uh, continue to maintain and monitor to ensure that this um, malware, or if there is any malware, um, isn't going to be coming up on any of our networks or systems. This is an ongoing problem, but the Department of Homeland Security reassures citizens that they are on top of it. If we're going to have uh, the most innovative industry in the world, we've got to protect it. We've got to have uh, the full resources of law enforcement after uh, these pirates in a relentless fashion, which is what we're going to continue to do day in and day out. Jimmy Lee, WMDT 47 News.